Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warriors the Untold Tales. In the last episode, we became a kitty pet. And we went in through and bought the first pelt that is only unlocked through becoming a kitty pet. Off camera, I went and unlocked the second one. In today's episode, probably will be a shorter one, but I don't know. I I can't see the time until after I record the video. But we're going to allow Thrash, the, the Blood Clan cat that yeah, we met last episode, episode into George's closet. And we'll get a bonus every single day that we talk to him. Hey, you're George's new kitty pet, ain't ya? I'm Thrash. Nice to meet ya. Say, you should let me raid old man George's closet for my clan and I. And of course I'll give you the best heads of the spoils every morning. What do you say, eh? We extra sneaky but we steal his stuff. The only cat that this will affect is Fuzzy. He will no longer play with you. So if you're sure about not playing or becoming friends with Fuzzy, then allow him to enter your closet. There's a good lad. You can find me in the old man's closet from now on. Come talk to me every morning if you want your share of the loot. Otherwise, I'll just give it to my clan as well. So now he was no longer here. And we can find him inside George's closet. Aha, it's a fresh kill. Poor old man. He won't be getting his dinner tonight. Here, share that in the bounties. It's a few rabbits. And we just got uh, a bunny. So I'm going to leave this out here with the two other pieces of fresh kill that I left. And take them back with me later. Some days you'll get prey, some days you'll get leaves. It all depends. It's pretty much random that I know of. I don't know if you have to wait a certain day for certain items or not. And I don't know all the items that you can get from it. And if we go talk to Fuzzy... I don't like you anymore. You let that mean old hand cat thrash in here. He's a maniac, like you. So now he'll no longer play with you, and he'll say the same thing over and over again. Yeah, he'll say the same thing over and over again. He wasn't the best way to get leaves anyway. Hey, it's a little tedious, just like it is catching rats or leaves. And every morning from now on... Oh, just a second, I just noticed... there. I just noticed that my screen was weird. Every morning from now on, he'll give you a new... he'll give you an item. Whether it leaves... I think he can also give you reputation, but I'm not sure. Or he could give you prey. And now, do I catch a couple of these rats? I don't think Fierce has anything new to say. No, no he doesn't. But Dark... I still don't like you, but you let Thrash steal the pathetic two leg stuff. Guess you're not so dumb as I thought. I'll sell you an authentic dog tooth collar if you want, just bring you 500 leaves. So now, if you gain 500 leaves, you'll be able to buy a collar from Dark. I'm pretty sure it's only a red collar. You can't change the color of it. The regular kitty pet collar, you can change the color of it. But there's only a select couple of color her colors. Because I've experimented with the colors in the past, and the color that I really wanted, which was purple, oh, is not a thing. But there's like green, red, blue. And I think there's also pink. I'm not quite sure. And I guess what we should do now is try to unlock the other collars. And then that will be the last thing that we need to do. Before we can become a clan cat again. 
during my last episode's grinding montage, I accidentally spent it leaves on repeat um, on bonus coins. Is with George trying to save, which was a big mistake. <laughs> So I have to earn all the those leads back up again. Just chasing our rats is a good way to do it. And it's so slow in sneak mode. And since the rats move unlike regular pieces of prey, I find it easier to just chase them down and get them stuck in the corner. Kind of like that. And from what someone told me in the comments, there will be no more versions of this game being released, unfortunately. If there was, I'd hope for a bigger two-leg place to explore. And I actually become Blood Clan. Come on, little mouse. Thank you. And you also get XP from doing it. I've got 28 XP. I don't think it's much XP, but you do get a little bit. Now that is morning, and we've already almost got enough leaves for the ne for the kitty pet collar. So this is morning, let's go talk to Thrash. Aha, it's a fresh kill. Poor old man. He'll be getting his dinner tonight. Here, share on the bounty. If, if It's a few rabbits. So you've got another rabbit this morning. So let's add that to our little pile. Since we're almost at 300, let's just quickly gather the few leaves that we need to reach 300. There. There. And now, if I do this, now I've got a collar. Um, space bar. Now it's blue, green, colors that I can't tell. Never mind. I think that's pink. I don't have my glasses on. I can't quite see. And then back to red it looks like. Let's go with this color. And we can always take it off before we leave if we decide to. Moon Lily is part kitty pet after all. Oh, her mother was a kitty pet. So it kind of makes sense that a collar would feel natural on her, but she might, uh, might be more or less reject wanting to reject the collar because she he escaped her kitty pet life to become a warrior. So I guess while she's here, she can wear the collar. And just to remind you guys, you get two new leads for every rat that you catch. And 
and two rats will spawn in at a time. So just doing this over and over for a little while, you can get a lot of leaves for it. And the last item we need to get is the Blood Clan Collar, which will take 500 leaves. If you create a new save file on top of this one, like create a new cat, then all the stuff that you've unlocked will be there. So you don't have to earn the collars all over again. Or at least the regular collar. You might have to pay 500 leaves for the Blood Clan collar again. I'm not quite sure. Lily probably thinks that she's doing these guys a favor. Since, in her opinion, even though she has heard quite a few stories of Blood Clan, she thinks they are also similar to her goal. They are the lost and, and unwanted. The leader of the original Blood Clan, Scrooge, or Scourge, however you want to pronounce it, was rejected by his family, bullied, beat up by the forest cats and left alone in the city to die, where only one sickly she-cat had shared his prey with him. In order to become stronger, he had to lie to in order to gain the respect of the cats around him. And he became a strong, cold-hearted cat, leader of his own clan. He made that sacrifice in order to, be to become leader of the cats who who do not ha have the life of the clan, his or a kitty pet, the ro hugs who have to survive every single day on their own, who don't ha have a leader to who tell them what to do. He had the he became what Moon Lily wants to be, except she he doesn't want to kill cats, only if she really needs to. So she. Th Thinks that she's doing Blood Clan a favor by getting rid of these rats. And she also feels certain kinship with Fierce, who shared the nursery with her. Who also felt that being a Thunder Clan was not where he was meant to be. She's a little naive. And she might just be walking herself into a hole. But she knows kitty pet life is not what it's cracked up to be. And being and being a rogue is hard. So she's learning what it means to be hence the sacrifice. The sacrifice of something that she he wants. For something that'll help her help the cats around her. 
even though she knows that she sacrificed many things. Thinks all her life as a warrior. Sacrificed the life of her clanmates. He's in battle. Sacrifice what could feed her belly. To feed the bellies of the kids, the queens, and the elders. She's learning what it means to make a real sacrifice, however. What the sacrifice is? A sacrifice of a nice warm home. To live on the streets. To live... <coughs> Sorry. To live on the streets or in the middle of a forest all by herself. The sacrifice... It's... Uh, everything that she... He lived on. To become something more. Similar to how Blue Star in the original series sacrificed her kids and brought them the River Clan in order to become deputy and then leader to make sure her Thistle Claw didn't take over her as Clan deputy. Because he. He would have done something nasty to Thunder Clan. He probably would have dri driven it into a lot of bloodshed. That's kind of just my thoughts. Jackpot, I found five leaves here on the shelf. Hee hee hee. I suppose to give it to you since you let us see in here and all. There's the leaf reward. Leaf reward. Let's see if we can find some rats. And we're already almost at 200 per 100 leaves already. Just a little bit of patience could go a long way. And Moonly wants to create her own clan for the lost and unwanted. Then she has to learn to sacrifice nice for her clan. She has to learn to make big sacrifices. Not the ones that she did when she was a regular clan cat. She has to make a lot of sacrifices to be a leader. Even so sacrificing herself. Of an order to save her clan. She learned the power of her of patrols, strength in numbers. She learned the healing properties of herbs. And by by having a maid, she learned what warmth, compassion, and love me is in a clan. And here. Chasing down rats in Blood Clan's alley. Wearing the collar that marks her as a kitty pet. She's learned the and the sacrifice that she has to make to achieve great things. To help, to become a leader. What else does she need to learn to become 
I'm her own clan leader. She doesn't know, but she knows she's not quite ready yet. She probably really wants to return back to ThunderClan right now. Because she wants to see her new maid. She wants to return to her duties as a warrior. And maybe start a family of her own. However, she probably knows that if she decides to become a clan leader of her own, create her own clan, and escape ThunderClan, she may need to give all that away. Her friendship with Rivertail. Her, her loyalty to her mate, Sam Handlake. And she might even have to abandon her kid. Whatever that kid may, its name might be. And ThunderClan, where you know, they will grow up big and strong. And one day might need to fight them in battle. It's hard to think about it, probably. She doesn't want to ha fight her kid, her maid, her former clan, but she's probably going to have to. And those are the sacrifices that she needs to make. Like if she wants to create a paradise, a haven for the lost and unwanted. She ha has a lot of thinking to do. What if she he changes her mind? Then she'll have all the things that she's grown to love. Things that she didn't have when she first became a warrior. As a higher cat, she had a lot of trouble making friends. But now she she's loved by her clan. She's not teased as much as she used to be. She's not made fun of for being a kitty pet, or put down. She's become a warrior that is highly respected in her clan. She's a medicine cat head assistant. She's a deputy's assistant. She has a maid, and someday maybe kids. It's a lot for her to think about, to be honest. Now that I think about it, this might be a longer episode. And because it is taking a little while. We're at 340 leaves right now. And we still have to get the 500. So that's at least 200 more leaves. Uh, fresh kill again. <coughs> Another rabbit. George really likes his rabbits. There are other things that she needs to think about as well. As a clan cat, there's always fresh kill waiting for her. There's always a nice warm bed. And cats the head will heal her wounds. But if she became a rogue, and, the, and her own clan leader, she has to provide those things. She can't just step into New York clan camp and see a nice big fresh kill pile. A pray that the that has been caught by other warriors that day. And talk to, to the fresh kill keeper or in order to get a share of her own. She has to create that fresh kill pile from scratch. She has to take her warriors out hunting on patrols. Make sure that they are healed. And tend to every last warrior, apprentice, 
clean kid or elder that's in her clan. And think about how she's going to run it. Will she be a kind and noble warrior? Or will she be a, vi a vicious, bloodthirsty warrior that leads her clan to death? There are a lot of things to think about. But if she can succeed, many kitty pets, rogues, loners, etc. will have a place to call home. To hurry up, this seems really tedious and boring. I think I should have done this all off camera. But what fun that would be. And would that be? Immediately coming back and being ready to return to the clans. The one that's like sitting here and watching Moonlil. Nelly hunt pr hunt m rats in the rain. It just makes me thinking of what how it would be like in the cl if she made her own clan. Would it thrive or would it fall? Would she be the next Sky Clan and have to move territories? You can't really do that in this game. But there, but that's just a thought. She has spent two whole seasons here as a kitty pet. What? And she's probably thinking what her clan will think when she returns. With the scent of the alleys. And another warm sense on her. The indent in her fur where her collar once been. Her belly stuffed with prey. And other her two leg things. Because she does live off of the crunchy, dry, two-leg food that they feed cats. Will her clan kick her out? Will her maid abandon her? Or will they just accept her back? Because they were at the time of desperate need. Or would they have forgotten about her? It's another sacrifice you need to make. To learn. Her things that she needed to know for the future to become a great leader. But, there's one thing that she's also learning. Thing that she hasn't realized. She did abandon her clan for two whole seasons. As a leader, a great leader, either shouldn't abandon their clan. And that is probably one reason why Tiger Star became quite an aggressive warrior. His father, Pine Star, I'm pretty sure it was, had abandoned his clan when he was on his last life. Pine Star left and became a kitty pet. He abandoned his clan. And thus, the leader after him could only get eight lives. Because the former leader only. They still had theirs.
Yep, we do. He'll get extra uh, XP, but not by much. We are at 500 leaves now, so we can unlock the blood clan collar. Also, thank you to the, to the people in the comments that mention and when the game gets stuck and you start moving forward without control on your cat, then press the arrow key that faces the direction of the, of the way that you are going to stop them. I've just been pressing the escape button to stop them. So thank you for that. Well, I don't have much use you here. Maybe we can find something useful to do with it. Oh, a shiny thing! That's actually really useful. Thank you. We'll put this in her little treasure pile. And we'll give it to her mate when we return. Now let's talk the dark and get the blood clan collar. And there we go. Actually, her collar does seem to be a different color. I can't quite tell because of my lack of glasses. But can we change the collar color? Let's see. Oh. That didn't change anything. Let's try the green collar. If we just abandon our blood clan collar accidentally. Yes, okay. No. It is. It doesn't change color. And there we go. We have unlocked everything that we need to unlock out here in the two leg place. And next episode, we will be returning. Her name ThunderClan. Let's see. Hang where we had left off. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I'd like to have a little poll in the comment section. Should Moon Lily. Return to the clans with either the Blood Clan collar or Kitty Pet collar. Or she return or should she return with neither? What do you guys think? Think please think, tell, tell me what, what your opinion is. Blood Clan collar, Kitty Pet collar, or neither. Thank you for watching.